we got the steam up, you put the dream up, the great was coming up, listen to my friend, follow the great word, that mighty great word, there's real adventure found every day. I'm Huck Finn. It all started out in our graveyard in Hannibal, Missouri, when Tom Sawyer, Becky Thatcher, and me were on our way home. I don't see why we had to come this way. Because it's a shortcut, Becky. See that old headstone, Becky? That's where me and Huck signed and Joe killed Dr. Robinson. Oh, I'm not staying in this awful place another second! It's Injun Joe! When Injun Joe escaped from jail, folks said he'd gone downriver. But here he was, big as life, and out to get Tom and me for testifying against him in court. Wow! shriveled up no bigger than the marble. Do we have to talk about it? If we had some lines, some hooks, and some bait, we could fish. If we had some wings, we could fly up there on that cliff and rob a gold's nest of some eggs. Why not wish for some hot biscuits while you're at it? And melted butter and fried chicken. Stop it, Becky. You're getting me all choked up. I just hope there's something in that trap we set. If I had to eat one more pine, I think I'd have turned into a squirrel. How are we going to cook it? Rabbit stew. That's good. We got nothing to put in it, so let's just roast them. First, we've got to get him ready to cook. You skin him out, Huck. I'll go get the firewood. Hold on, Tom. It's your knife. I'm not much good at finding wood. And we're gonna need a good big fire. Here, you get ready. What are you doing here, Huck? I'm getting the wood. Just thought I'd help. Getting the food ready to cook is a woman's work anyhow. Sure, anyone knows that. She ought to be done by now. Let's get the fire started. Don't bother. You turned him loose? Ain't that just like a girl? When I think I could have been eating that nice, crisp, roasted meat. Yeah. I'm sorry. But if you'd have looked into his eyes like I did. Tomorrow we'll go hunting, Tom. We make ourselves a spear and... Yeah! There's bound to be lots of animals on this island. Bet I could eat a bear. Hide and all! Let's try to go to sleep. Then we won't have to think about food. We can dream about it instead. Another hunk of meat. 
Determine your fate. Trial? What for? We didn't commit no crimes. This island is our sanctuary. There's only one great crime to be human. Defense ready. Ready for the defense. Such as it is. You are charged with invading our island sanctuary for the purpose of wanton killing and destruction in the human manner. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Very well. You shall have a fair trial. Do you wish to make an opening statement? Your Honor, this here's all a mistake. We never wanted to come to this island. We got blown ashore here. We were trying to get back to Hannibal, Missouri, to our folks. Objection, Your Honor. This is immaterial. Besides, who ever heard of Hannibal, Missouri? Uh, do you have any proof to offer that such a place does exist? Proof? We don't need any proof. Now, this is just plain foolishness, and uh, we would... Uh, If you will refrain from further violent human outbursts, this trial can proceed with dignity. Do you have any more to say? Just that we're innocent, Your Honor. We shall see. Proceed with the prosecution. First of all, do you deny that you are humans? Why should we? How can we? Then you admit that you are members of a race which has, for thousands of years, existed on the destruction of innocent animals. Wait, that's not fair. You. What is the very last thing you said last night before you went to sleep? I don't know. Uh, I was hungry. Let me remind you. You said, bet I could eat a bear, hide and all. <laughs> Is this true? Well, yes, but I meant that... Proceed with the prosecution. And you? You said there's bound to be lots of animals on this island, didn't you? <laughs> and didn't you suggest to these boys that they build a trap? And did they not do so? Yes, but we didn't... <laughs> No more questions. Well, is there any defense? You're only human. Well, I already got an Indian name. He sure ain't much of a defense lawyer, if you ask me. Did they have to give us one that looks like a mass bandit? Well, I was never dare to, but I'm telling you. Know. Your Honor! We have an unexpected witness for the defense. You may proceed. Your Honor, I was caught in the trap set by these people, and I was released unharmed. 
Can you explain how this happened? Well, the boys wanted to cook me, but the girl turned me loose. I think she was sorry for me. She gave me a look of genuine animal kindness. Your Honor, I submit that it is very easy to feel sorry for a rabbit. The story might have been quite different had it been a bobcat or a weasel in that trap. Mm. Nevertheless, the girl performed an act of mercy. The court may wish to return a separate verdict. No! The boys would have done the same thing I did. Whatever you do to Tom and Huck, you'll have to do to me, too. Quiet! Quiet! Quiet in the courtroom. In that case, Your Honor, the girl admits equal guilt and deserves the same fate as the boys, who are proven hunters by their own words. Any last words for the defense? They're only human. Mm, for the prosecution? I would remind the court how many centuries our kind has suffered the cruelty of the human hunter. Members of the animal jury, the fate of these three defendants rests with you. Are you ready to give your verdict? The hunter! Run for your life! Who do you suppose it is? I don't know, but I'm glad he got here when he did. I'm not. Think of the poor animals. Think of poor us. We better move out of here, or we'll be as bad off as they are. That was a close one. Maybe we ought to holler for that hunter to help get us out. Wait, I see him. Look, the raccoon. He better run now or he'll be dead. Look out! like Engine Joe. We were mighty lucky to escape with our lives, Becky, after you yelled at that raccoon. At least we gave him time to get away. It's more than he deserved for the bad job he did for us. Look there! By those rocks! That's what we've been looking for! This must belong to the hunter. It wasn't here two days ago. It's big enough for all of us. Let's push it out in the water. It's come from behind those rocks. Serves him right. What he tried to do to us. Can you blame him? I wonder how he got here. I bet that hunter brought him back and dumped him in the boat. And then he crawled over to here. We can waste time talking about it. Let's go. We can't leave him here to die. Why not? Tom, you're just proving what the animals said about us humans. We're not all bad, and we should show them. Just look at the poor little thing. I suppose we could hide the boat and use it later. We might be able to help the animals somehow. Maybe you two could go and steal the hunter's guns. How about it, Huck? You game? I guess so. But if we get caught between that big old hunter and that big old bear, which way do we run? Don't crowd us. We want to be friends, all right? 
He ain't much in the mood for conversation, pal. Then we'll just have to prove to him we mean what we say. Didn't even stick around to say thanks. I don't know, Huck. Maybe the animals are bound to hate us, no matter what we do. There's another footprint. Looks like the hunter came this way not too long ago. Mm, campfire smoke. And he's cooking something. Don't forget whose side you're on, Hook. I'm on the animal side. But my stomach's a traitor. I know what you mean. Come on, he must be close to his camp. so long. I hope nothing's happened to him. He's asleep. Tell you what, you circle around to the other side, nip in, grab whatever's loose. I'll try and get his right. Four seconds. 